Kendrick Davis, University of Memphis. I didn't have the, you know, the, the easiest life. Uh, I had a hard life, and uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people here that probably didn't have hard lives. It's just about who's gonna give up and who's gonna, you know, fight through, and I fought through it. It was just me and my mom for the longest uh, in a small apartment. And uh, it started that way, and then I moved with my grandma, you know, until my mom got settled. Then I moved back with my mom. Uh, my dad was, you know, in prison. Then uh, my oldest brother uh, passed away. So it was really just me and my mom. He was, you know, he was on his own when he passed, but that took a hard turn. Then my father got released from prison and then uh, went missing. And he's been missing ever since. So uh, it was just hard, you know, growing up. I had to, you know, figure a lot of things out on my own and become my own man just because I really didn't have a, a true father figure. I would say my son, I got a one-year-old, so my son motivates me the most. Uh, he the reason, I mean, and he also looks just like me, so. I just want to show him it can be done. His first words was ball. Uh, that's all he want to do now. Remind me of when I was little, but also my mother. Uh, it was just us growing up, so. I know she's super proud of me. I mean, she tell me every day, she feel like I'm in the NBA to her. She feel like I already made it, so. I just want to keep making them too proud. And I hope he learned his father was a perseverance, you know. And, and battle through it all. Uh, this past year, he watched all the games, and uh, it would get loud in the gym. And he, for some reason, he loved it. And uh, he's a basketball fanatic now. So, I mean, uh, it's two in the morning. I hear him on the go in the living room shooting. And uh, I mean, you always want, you know, you always want to be able to show your son what you did instead of tell him. So, I'll be able to show him this and. Uh, Whatever he would go through, I'm pretty sure it'd probably be, hopefully, the similar process. I could tell him I went through it and he can trust me. That is stressful. I mean, that might sound crazy, but I mean, that's the best part. Uh, I feel like if you can get through this, I feel like it translates in, in the real world. Uh, whether you make it or not, I just feel like you're going to be mentally prepared for whatever else you do, whether it's a regular job, whether it's, you know, teaching your son the life lessons that you learned throughout this journey. So uh, it's stressful, but man, it's worth it. It teach you, you know, off the court habits. And it teach you the business aspect of everything to where I can give it to my son once he grow up. Yeah, I would just say, I mean, everybody got a story. It's about how you gonna, you know, tell that chapter at the end. Uh, can't really feel sad for yourself or feel down. Everybody got a story. I mean, when you see the draft, all 60 picks crying, everybody got a story. You just got to fight and, you know, you can't quit because you won't know what the story would have been if you quit. So just keep going.